there's a lot of things we just throw away because the energy to reuse them is more expensive than virgin material. Dig it out of the ground, you turn it into something, you use it, you smash it, and then you throw it back in a pit in the ground. Ultimately, it just means you leave one big hole in the ground over here and then start filling up another hole over there. And is that, is that sustainable, perhaps, as a more of a closed-loop system that could be employed? And that's the dream, but that does require energy. That was one thing that always attracted me about the notion of exploring space, was that you had to implement that simply to survive. You know, if you were going to live on the moon or Mars, there was no pit over here and pit over there. You better figure out how to make it all stay. You know, every, every atom of nitrogen or oxygen or hydrogen became precious to you. And when I would tell people, why were we doing NASA? That was the most effective thing, was the whole idea of recycling and what we would learn from exploring space. What prevents us from doing that right now on Earth? I mean, why do we have to go to space to learn how to be really, really good recyclers? Why don't we recycle like that on Earth? It's energy, you know, energy has to be really, really cheap or the penalty has to be really, really bad. Now in space, the penalty was really, really bad. If you didn't recycle, you ran out of air and water. But on the ground, to go achieve that dream of a closed loop, you need to have really, really cheap energy.